Hey everyone, I'm uh, Austin Welser from Austin B Media, and I'm going to be interviewing today um, the director of the short film Cherry Lemonade, which premiered at Tribeca Film Festival on June 9th. Um, Aisha Ford, uh, welcome. Hi. How are you? I am good. Good. Um, so, first off, I guess I just want to say, um, great short film. Um, I, I think it's one of the first I saw um, at the festival, whatever at means. Um, and I got the sense of being a kid again, um, in some senses. So I guess I'll start there with my questions. Um, what was the most important feeling for people to get from this short? I think the most important feeling for me is the brother and sister love between the two and Phoenix just wanting to be a normal kid. You know, the average girl who just wants a slushy because it's hot outside <laughs> to be a kid. Yeah, and we see um, this shot of these, I think they're cheerleaders. Um, and it's sort of this hypnotic shot um, where it's just really focused on them. And, and was that just kind of a way to convey, um, I forget the character's name, so I apologize. Um, it's been a hectic week. Um, but was that a way to get into the character's mind or um, was that just something like, oh, hey, this looks cool. I want to put it in here. <laughs> well, yeah, definitely to get into the character's head, Phoenix. That's the character's name. You know, it's like, I just want that relationship that those cheerleaders have. I want the fun, I want the laughter. I don't want what my brother is trying to offer me right now. Yeah, and um, I guess speaking of that relationship, it, it's kind of an interesting relationship um, mm -hmm. because it makes the short film kind of circular in a way. Um, I won't spoil, spoil it for uh, anyone who hasn't seen it, um, just so that they can. Um, but there is a thing that happens in the, in the beginning that happens at the end, and it's kind of wonderful um, because I, my English teacher once said, a story is like looking in a window, and the story is that window um, that you're looking through. Um, and you bring this um, th this um, kind of, this person in towards the middle that kind of connects the two um, in a, in a way that's unexpectedly not humorous. I don't want to say uh, that, um, but it's unexpected. So, mm -hmm. in in a short film like this, how did you just walk that line between, okay, I don't want to have this person be frightened of this person. I just want, hey, I don't know this person. And so that um, we could get that satisfaction towards the end or whatever you would call it. I don't know if satisfaction would be the right word. Yeah. Um, so when I first started writing a script, uh, I didn't have that character in it. And then after I started like thinking to myself, like, okay, what is this really about? Then I was like, okay, I need to add Clifton. That's the character you're talking about. And how I kind of went with it is that I didn't see him in my head as I was writing him as a threat in a way. I saw him as like that. I saw him as a way as like that dude you go to if you need anything in a neighborhood. He likes that, like that father figure. Okay. Yeah, and I guess... Yeah, that, that, that does fit um, kind of, not a whole, but um, mm -hmm. just, just that does, that it, that is something very interesting that it's just, there, there's a lot of uh, 
imperfections in this perfect world um, Phoenix is experiencing. It, it's almost dreamlike in quality um, because I mean, it's shot very cinematically. Um, I think at a 2.351 aspect ratio, if I'm, if I'm uh, remembering my ratios right. And I, I think my next question would be, what drove that cinematic quality to it? Was it just, hey, I want this to look different or was it something else? Yeah, so um, like, for this film is like, it's more about how I remember my hometown, the way I was raised. I remember like the beauty of it, the playfulness of it. And I wanted to bring that out into the film and not just the dangers. Yeah, and I, um, I, I think that's kind of something we need right now, um, as much as cliched as that phrase is. Um, <laughs> it, it, I mean, I've heard that so many times during quarantine I'm like I if I see another film that says uh the movie we need right now I I think I might crack <laughs> uh but uh in a way this short kind of is it just reminds you of childhood with this pop sense soundtrack and it, it's almost bubblegum pop in a way um and it's just very evocative of a, ah, th that's a time I remember. Um, so I guess my next question is, um, where- Hold on, you froze where, on me. Okay. Um, can you see me? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, I guess my next question is, what were your, so since you draw a lot of it from you say your own uh, childhood, what things did you bring in just from that and say, hey, I, I wanna give a reference to like 7-Eleven. Um, I, I assume that's the reference here. Um, and just that younger, that younger, um, I don't know, vibe. Mm -hmm. um, so I guess what, what did you pull in there? From my own childhood, yeah. Uh, my brother, <laughs> all of my brothers. <laughs> it's like my brothers is they tried their best. I love them dearly, but I know I can be like that annoying young sister, and I'm strong-willed. And like, if you don't give me something I want, I go out there myself type vibe. But um, but yeah, it's like that my brother relationship, I, my real life brother I have, and um, the slushy part is actually a time I remember when I was younger, when we all would go to the candy lady to get a slushy. It's like, that was our number one thing. You got a quarter? Give me a slushy. <laughs> yeah, I, I, um, I, I, um, just remember all that stuff of like back when I lived near the city is just like um, this time where you could go anywhere, but you had to be home by dark. Um, mm -hmm. Like I, I, I don't know if you have these in your area, but uh, high boys. Um, I don't know if those are in your areas, but I could just literally walk up the street and go get it get one or go to the grocery store and go get some food. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, um, but, um, but I, 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 um, I, I didn't want to thank you for your time, Aisha. I've, I actually have run out of things to say. Um, I wish, I wish I had more, um, quite honestly. Um, but I, I just think sometimes the less said, the better um, about a short mm -hmm. film where you really just need to experience it mm -hmm. um, in order to kind of understand um, what's going on. Um, but yeah, I just want to 
thank you for coming on. Um, and I can't wait to see what you do next. Um, and anyone who wants to catch this over at home uh, can check this out at the Tribeca Film Festival. Uh, I'll have the link to watch it in the description. Um, I think it's free um, to watch. I'll, I'll have that uh, stuff in the description. But uh, yeah, thank you again so much, Aisha. Thank you. All right. Have a great day. You too.